Hi, and welcome to another edition of the Mostly Mike Show. Today I'm going to do a little unboxing and review of the Werner Quick Click Ladder Leveler. While this is not a tutorial on how to assemble the Quick Click Ladder Leveler, I'm going to go over the highlights of the installation process as well as a quick demonstration of its use. Of course, one of the first things I noticed is that it's made in Korea. I'm not a huge fan of buying things made overseas, but I do like Werner's ladders and equipment, and I'm not sure that any company makes an American-made version of this kind of a device, so I guess I can let it slide this time. They claim that you can safely work on uneven ground, and it extends a full 10 inches. So let's have a look inside the box. Looks like we have two strips of foam tape. Not sure what they're for. Looks like an installation manual, operating instructions. There's a left shoe and a right shoe. I guess these are what actually is going to get attached to the ladder. And a couple more foam strips. We have the ladder leveler itself. Which everything seems to be pretty well made. There's a pack of uh, hardware. They include a 5mm Allen wrench. And then there's some super glue. There's a few tools required for installation, a drill, an 11 32nd bit, a marking pen, a 5mm hex key, or Allen wrench, meet Allen wrench, and a half inch wrench, or socket, and a center punch. And I always like to use one of these little parts dishes with the magnetic base on them so I don't lose any parts. I'll just empty the hardware box in there. And like I said, I'm not going to get too crazy with the installation, but there's a couple highlights here that I wanted to point out. And you have like four different types of construction that your ladder is made out of, which mine happens to be the direct swage construction with bracing, which looks like this here. And you got the little pivotal feet and that aluminum C-channel looking thing at the bottom. And there's a different instruction for each type of ladder. Um, so I'm going to turn the page here. There's the direct swage construction. And they give the whole layout for uh, where you have to drill. And it says in the instructions you repeat it on the opposite side. Right from the beginning I found that it's probably going to be advantageous to use like a combination square such as this. So when you're looking to find center, if you, um, instead of just trying to measure across and do the math, if you make a diagonal measurement and you get a known measurement like here, in this case it's like four inches, and then you just mark it on the two, and that's, your, that's the center of your uh, ladder. Mark a center line down the length. And that's for the left side, so I'm just going to take my shoe and make sure that my marks coincide with it. And everything seems to be lined up. Mark it with a center punch. And then we're going to drill it. And they want you to glue these with, with, with a super glue. So I, I guess so they don't wonder while you're installing them. You just kind of lay them centered over the holes, kind of square. And they said under no circumstances you don't want to glue these to the ladder itself. Just to each other and to the, the base itself. So... Uh, these applied real quick. I don't think these really have any bearing on the structure of the ladder. They're just to keep things properly in place while you're installing. Give that a few minutes to dry. And I went ahead and did the other side while I was waiting for the glue to dry. So they're all done. Basically all that these are doing is they're, they're spacing between the ladder 
and these things right here they're they're actually making a space between you know so that they're it's not teetering on that when you tighten it down make sure you're extra careful when you use the super glue because that stuff will bond skin instantly and I, I was reading into the instructions. These foam things are actually made for a different model of ladder, a different type of ladder. So we're not going to be using those at all. And this instruction actually isn't even calling for these, um, these little stainless washers that are in here. I, I, they include for whatever scenario you have. But for this one, all that they're asking for to mount is um, on each side you need three of these inch and a quarter uh, fender washers and three locking nuts. So we're back here at the ladder. Um, you're going to take the end marked up and it's going to point up, like up the ladder, like you didn't know that already. And make sure all the bolts penetrate. And then we're going to stick our washer with a lock nut on the bottom side and tighten it up. Now this very bottom one here is a little bit of a pain in the ass to get in. Uh, you know, because you got to deal with the strut, you know, to get the nut on underneath, but it's not that bad. I mean, just use your ingenuity, however. And then take your five millimeter Allen your half inch wrench and just tighten them down. I can't believe I'm even showing you that because I think everybody knows how to use wrenches if you're watching this, right? I don't know if they give a torque specification or not. I'll look here in a minute. And the recommended torque is actually nine foot pounds. So <sighs> nine foot pounds. Click, there it goes. And we're going to just repeat for the other side. Flip our ladder over. Now to put this thing on, uh, the, the, uh, the main unit, all you have to do is just line these up, push down. You'll see that the top one has a little, like a spring release on it. And you basically just shove it forward your safety pin in, she ain't coming out. And then, I would say, eh, quarter inch uh, increments, and then you just push this part with your foot and it's spring loaded, it automatically goes back. It's pretty cool. Let's go give it a try. So we have it on a piece of level ground, and I'm going to make it unlevel. So I'm going to take this cinder block. And make the ladder very unlevel. Now you can see how it's leaning there. And what I'm going to do is straighten the ladder up how I want it. Now we have a straight ladder. Solid. Pretty cool. I think I'm going to like it. And to release, you just push this. Take the load off of it. Reuse your finger. Pretty much it. My final thoughts on it. There's really not much to not like about it. I have a lot of siding to hang up and I want to be safe about it. And being safe means having a stable ladder. I would believe in just about any application you're invariably going to have you know, a few extra parts left, which could probably be used for something. I'm definitely not going to throw them out. 
Um, as I stated in a lot of other videos, I'm a pack rat by nature, so that'll end up in an organizer somewhere. 